Hi friends, I'm so glad you're here today. I am Laura Brady and I am at First Baptist Church in Gibsonton, Florida, and you are at the Kids Place. I'm so glad you came today. Today we are going to talk about one of my favorite subjects, food. Is that your favorite? Do you have favorite snacks? Well, today I want to talk about a sandwich. Now, my favorite sandwich, I think my very favorite sandwich would be a grilled hamburger with some tomato and cheese and ketchup and mustard and pickles. I love grilled hamburger sandwiches. So good. Now, what's your favorite? You know, when I was a kid, my mom made a a peanut butter and jelly sandwich in my lunch every day for a long, long time. But today I still love peanut butter and jelly. Do you like peanut butter and jelly? Or do you have a different kind of sandwich that you like? Well, we all love sandwiches of some kind. I don't think I've ever met anybody who doesn't like a sandwich. I love sandwiches. Well, today we're going to talk about a prayer sandwich. Now, how many of you know what a prayer sandwich is? Well, it's not really a real sandwich, but it's something we can remember that will help us when we learn how to pray. Some of us have a hard time knowing how to pray. What are you supposed to say? And how is it supposed to start? How is it supposed to end? Well, who knows unless you find out. Well, today we're going to find out how we can pray. If we were imagining prayer like a sandwich, the first thing you need is a piece of bread, right? The piece of bread, the first one would be an, an introduction or it would be the first thing we say when we go to pray. And since we're talking to Jesus, sometimes we would say, Dear Jesus, or some people say, Dear Heavenly Father, whatever you'd like to say, because if I'm talking to you, or if I was talking to my husband, I would say, Steve, and then I would ask him what I needed to ask him. Because when you talk to somebody, you usually use their name to start the sentence. And that's kind of how prayer is. So <clears throat> since we're talking to our Heavenly Father, sometimes we would say, Dear Heavenly Father, and then we would begin to talk to him. What would we say? Well, I kind of like to start praying with praises. Now, what are praises? Praises might be like our bologna. That would be the first thing on our sandwich. If we were having a bologna sandwich, it would be a bologna. So bologna would be something like, I would say praises. And that's where you brag on God and you tell him how amazing you knew that you know he is that he is the one who provides and thank him just say God you are so wonderful you love me so much and I'm so happy that you do anything that you want to say to just kind of brag on God because he definitely is worthy of our praise and then we might want to add maybe some cheese. I love cheese on my sandwich. What about you? So now we have bread, bologna right here, and now we have cheese. Well, what would cheese be? Maybe Thanksgiving. Telling God thank you for what can you be thankful for? Can you think of some things? Maybe your family. Thank God for our food, for a place to live, for a car, for dying on the cross for us, for having a church to go to. There's so many things to be thankful for. And I think you could probably think of a couple, right? You don't have to make a long list, but I always want to thank God for what he does for me, especially when he died on the cross for me so that I could pray to him and I could ask him to forgive me when I do things that are wrong. And then what else do we, can we put on our sandwich? How about a tomato? Some of y'all don't like tomatoes. I kind of do, but see, you can make your sandwich however you want. So we have our bread, our bologna, our cheese, and now we have a tomato. What can tomatoes mean? Well, they could be like a request. 
or things that you want to ask God about. Say, for instance, um, you might want to say, tell the Lord, Lord, my grandma is sick. Would you please help her? Or maybe there's a, a friend at school that's really having a hard time and you want to pray and ask God to help them. Maybe you want to pray that you could be a blessing to someone else and then look for that opportunity to be a blessing. And what does that mean? That sounds like it's a great big word. Be a blessing. Have an opportunity. Well, not really. You know what that is? It's when you do something for someone else. You can be a blessing. And sometimes we thank God for our blessings when someone does something for us or when we see a special gift. That's, a, that's asking God to bless someone else. And then there are many other things that we could put on our sandwich. We could put lettuce on here. We could put pickles. We could put all kinds of stuff on here. And you could represent things like pray, putting pickles on here or putting something else. You could pray for our leaders in our country. You could pray for your pastor, for your teachers at school. All of those things, they represent they can be represented by things you put on your sandwich. It'll help you learn how to pray. And then what would we do would be the last thing that we would do is we would take our other piece of bread and put it on top. That would be kind of like completing our sandwich. And to complete our prayer, we would say, thank you, Jesus, for what you're going to do. In Jesus' name, amen. It's a very simple process to pray. And it doesn't have to be fancy because you know what? You are talking to God. In Jeremiah 33, 3 says, Call unto me, and I will answer thee, and show thee great and mighty things thou knowest not. Now, if you've never learned to pray before, I hope this helped. And you don't have to be fancy. You don't have to be having great big prayers, but telling Jesus you love him and praying for others is huge. So I hope that today, when you have your next sandwich, it'll help you think about the things that you might want to put in your prayer. And always remember to close your prayer with thankfulness to the Lord for what he's going to do. Thank you so much for coming by today. This is the Kids Place, and I hope you'll come back again because we're going to have some more exciting and fun things for you to learn and for you to do with me. We're going to do a little bit of this, a little bit of that, little crafts, a little fun. You're just going to love it. So I hope you come back soon. And if you're in the area in Gibsonton, Florida, and you don't have a, a church home, First Baptist Church of Gibsonton, Florida has children's programming and children's programs to be involved in. So come see us in Children's Church. We'd love to have you.